Well, we're going to, first of all, I'll say thank you for coming to Grandma Roseanne's Kitchen. I love cooking and I love it when you're in the kitchen with me. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make Thousand Island dressing. It's really good, it's really simple, and it is a thousand times better than what you will buy in the store. So I don't buy it anymore, I just make it. There's just a few ingredients, if you wanna take a look here, just a few ingredients, mayo, ketchup, vinegar, uh, sugar, uh, relish, onion, so easy, so simple, okay? So what we're going to start out with is a half a cup of mayonnaise, and that's going to be the base. And this does not make a huge amount either, which I think is kind of nice. So it's easy and quick to make. You can just go ahead and make it frequently because it's a, it's a no mess, no problem dressing. Then we need two tablespoons of ketchup. I like the good old standard Heinz ketchup. I just think that's such an excellent ketchup. I almost wore that one. <laughs> All right, two tablespoons of ketchup. Get every last bit out there. One tablespoon of vinegar. Now I'm using white wine vinegar here, which is just fine to use, but you know, if you buy a champagne vinegar, it's really just that next bit better. I just happened to run out of it. So when you run out, you use what's in the cupboard and this is what was in the cupboard. It's one tablespoon, okay? And then two teaspoons of sugar. It doesn't call for very much sugar, but you do want that a little bit of sweetness in there. And then the relish is two teaspoons of relish. Now I like the relish, so I end up going a little heavier on mine, but it's just up to your personal taste here. So that's one. That's what I would use. <laughs> it's more, but your recipe calls for two teaspoons, but like I said, I really like it. And then one teaspoon of minced onion. What I do, because it's such a time saver, is I just take whole onions, pop them in my Quasinar, pull some one, two, three, four times, and then just put a good lid on it, and I never have to go back and mince by hand, which I do not enjoy doing. Then we want just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, so just a teeny tiny bit of salt. There you go. And we're going to mix that. It's got that pretty color to it. And then we just need just a pinch of pepper. we have to taste everything. So, I love celery. I have a celery stock here. No fail. No fail. Perfect. Every single time it's perfect. So, make it for your family. Enjoy it. We use this a lot of times on top of our hamburgers. So good. So, thank you for coming. Have fun. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.